Hi, Tom here from Makerpad and I'm going to show you quickly how you can create your first Zap. So, once you're logged in to Zapier, you'll be presented with this screen here. If you go to the Make a Zap or the plus button in the top left hand side, you can create a Zap from scratch. And all a Zap is going to do is going to be made up of a trigger and an action. A trigger is going to be when something happens, do another thing. So, an example of a trigger would be when a new form is completed from type form and an action would be send me a message in slack so these are two applications that they may talk to each other in some ways but we want to actually customize how we receive the response and where and when we want to receive it so let's do that we can do that in two ways we can either create an app from scratch using the make an app make a zap button here or we can enter our app names into these boxes and then Zapier will give us some pre-built zaps which we can then use that's kind of like a template so let's connect typeform and slack and you can see the most popular typeform and slack zaps here are get slack notifications for new typeform entries this seems good so we can either use this template or we can select the triggers and actions from these drop down box here so a new entry in type form, send a direct message. So I want the message just to go to me. If you want it to go to a team, you can do that also. And press use that. Then you'll be taken to this page. This is actually where you can customize the steps of your zap and actually retrieve and see the data that's getting passed through from one step to another. So simply connect our type form account Let's continue, select the form. We're looking for meetup hosts at the moment, so this could be quite useful. We're going to press test to continue. This is going to check if it can actually get the data from your type form. If it goes green and moves on, it has. If you want to go back and check this, you can by going to find data and then checking the entry it's received. Great. Now let's configure our Slack step open up the slack box connect your slack account press continue and now we get to customize the message first of all we need to know who it's going to go to and then what message we're going to send. you can either type it in manually or you can then select some fields from the previous step using the insert a field button here we're going to include the name and a bit of information. Obviously there's much more information available to us so if you wanted to actually surface this up immediately you can but we're just going to keep it simple. We can send it as a bot, we can give the bot a name, include a link to the zap so if you're working with multiple people they can actually go back and edit the zap and that is all you need to do. So if you press continue and press test and continue we can see that we've immediately received a notification inside of slack if we press done and we turn the zap on now we've created our first zap and each time our form gets submitted in type form we're going to get a notification inside of slack that is how to create your first zap Hope this helps and I look forward to seeing what you create.